So let me tell you about this gem of a show called Shogun that I recently watched. 17th century Japan where samurais are not just cool, they're the ultimate power players and navigating through their politics is like playing chess with a dozen chess masters. We got Lord Yoshi Toronaga, who's basically the ninja version of Machiavelli and he's really good at mind games. He can even give tuition to Tyrion Lannister. Then there's John Blackthorne, our English sailor, who's like a fish out of water, or should I say a pirate out of the ocean, trying to figure out if he is a guest or a hostage in this beautiful chaotic world. Between action and politics, the romance also stands out. It's not just a typical love at first sight story, it's more like a love despite the massive language barrier and cultural clashes. What'll happen if you try to woo someone with your limited Japanese vocabulary and a whole lot of confused gestures? That's exactly what's happening here. But the action is just out of this world. We've got battles that make Game of Thrones skirmishes look like a pillow fight. Samurai swords flashing, arrows whizzing by, and alliances shifting faster than you could say loyalty. It's like a high stakes game of risk, but with sharper edges and way cooler outfits. What really seals the deal with Shogun is its attention to detail. The set design is so on point that you'll start questioning why your living room doesn't have a traditional Japanese tea ceremony setup. True story, actually bought a teapot after watching the show. You're laughing, but when the Mongols raid your house and they're thirsty, you ain't got shit but Fanta. And don't get me started on the costumes. They're so detailed and elegant and you'll want to raid a historical costume party just to fit in with the show's aesthetic. But amidst all the political intrigue, epic battles, and cultural exploration, Shogun manages to sneak in moments of genuine humanity. You'll find yourself rooting for characters you never thought you'd empathize with and questioning your own notions of honor and sacrifice. Actually, the thing is, the sweet taste of quality television is a world filled with more disappointments than a blind date. But amidst the chaos of streaming mediocrity, Shogun shines a beacon of brilliance. Let's face it, modern TV has been a bit like playing Russia Roulette with a water gun. Lots of hype, but mostly just soggy disappointment. Gone are the days of shows that feel like they were thrown together by a committee of caffeinated squirrels. I salute you, my nutty friends. Shogun reminds us of what good TV used to look like. Intelligent, faithful to its source material, and not afraid to tackle complex themes without beating you over the head with a preachy agenda. Take notes, Hollywood. Shogun gives you the joy of watching a show that values storytelling over soapbox preaching. No tedious 2024 activism here. Just good old-fashioned drama, intrigue, and sword-swinging action. But Shogun isn't just about flashy samurai battles and political intrigue. It's about tugging at your heartstrings and making you care about characters like they're your long-lost cousins. The good ones, not those ones. They're the worst. Let's start with Lord Yoshi Toronaga, the master manipulator. Beneath that cunning exterior lies a man torn between duty and survival. And then there's Mariko, the highborn woman caught between loyalty and religious sympathies who acts as a bridge between cultures and hearts. She's like the MVP of cultural diplomacy, except with a lot more emotional depth and mm, less paperwork. Of course, we can't forget about our outsider protagonist, John Blackthorne. He asks all the questions we'd ask if we were suddenly transported to 17th century Japan, like, where's the nearest Starbucks? Do they have Wi-Fi in this area? What really sets Shogun apart is the ability to make us care about characters beyond the main trio. From dominant players like Kashigi Yabushigi, best name ever, to the resilient Yusami Fuji, each character feels like they have their own story to tell, their own struggles to overcome, and their own dreams to chase. And let's not overlook the forbidden love storyline, because what's a historical drama without a dash of romance? <laughs> Blackthorn and Hosokawa Gracias' love defies societal norms and makes us root for them. Team Blackthorn, forever! The thing is, Shogun doesn't just toss you into the deep end, it holds your hand and walks you through the complexities of feudal Japan like a seasoned expert. You're not just watching pretty costumes and fancy sets, Shogun goes the extra mile to make sure that you understand why everyone's wearing those robes and wielding those swords. It's like getting a crash course in Japanese history without the boring textbooks. These ain't your one-dimensional cardboard cutouts, nope, the characters in Shogun have layers thicker than an onion. From John Blackthorne to Lord Yoshi Toronaga, each character feels like they could jump out of the screen and have a chat with you. Ever wanted to know what it's like to play the Game of Thrones Japanese style? Shogun breaks it down for you, showing how alliances are made and broken. You don't need to speak Japanese to understand what's going on. The cinematography in Shogun does the heavy lifting, painting a vivid picture of bustling markets, serene temples, and mist-covered mountains. Ever wondered about those tea ceremonies and honor codes? Shogun doesn't just drop them in for decoration, it explains why they matter and how they shape their character's actions. Moreover, Shogun doesn't skimp on romance. It shows us how love can bloom, even in the most unlikely places, and the timeless allure of feudal Japan 
Japan, where samurais roam. Honor is everything, and political intrigue is as common as cherry blossoms in spring. Doesn't the vibe feel similar? It's no wonder that Shogun and Ghost of Tsushima the game feel like two peas in a historical pod, drawing fans into a world of katana-wielding heroes in epic battles. Both Shogun and Ghost of Tsushima transport us to feudal Japan. The attention to detail in capturing the landscapes, culture, and honor codes is so spot on you can almost smell the cherry blossoms and feel the breeze rustling through the ancient temples. And let's give a round of applause for the visual aesthetics. From misty forests to cherry blossom-filled landscapes, both game and series excel in transporting viewers and players alike into a world of wonder and beauty. But perhaps what ties it all together is the exploration of Japanese culture in the journey of redemption. Whether you're exploring Japanese customs in Ghost of Tsushima or delving into the complexities of society in Shogun, the themes of growth, transformation, and resilience resonate deeply with audiences. So whether you're slashing through enemies in the game or immersing yourself in the historical drama of Shogun. Both offer unforgettable journeys through the heart and soul of feudal Japan. It's a celebration of samurai spirit, honor, and the enduring human quest for greatness. But here's the thing. Have you noticed how many times I've compared this show with Game of Thrones? Actually, I'm not the only one. A lot of people are comparing it to Game of Thrones. So imagine if Game of Thrones decided to trade in its dragons for samurai swords. That's the vibe Shogun is rocking. First off, they both have enough characters to fill a football stadium and they're all playing the power game like it's the Super Bowl of scheming. Then there's the violence and mature themes. Shogun and Game of Thrones don't shy away from showing the gritty side of life. From epic battles to backstabbing betrayals, love, loyalty, sacrifice, they've got it all. Like a buffet of emotions. And let's not forget the constant threat of someone meeting a premature end. In both shows, it's like walking on eggshells, never knowing when your favorite character might bite the dust. But they're not twins separated at birth, Shogun roots itself in real history, while Game of Thrones is set in a fantasy land with dragons and you know, whatnot. On the other hand, Shogun's Rotten Tomato score is another talk of the town. Shogun is strutting its stuff with a perfect 100% rating among the snooty critics on Rotten Tomatoes. It's like getting a standing ovation from 52 different theater critics, except this time, they're all nodding their heads in unison going, yep. Yep, that's, that's, that's some damn good TV. And it's not just the critics who are throwing roses at Shogun's feet. The audience is joining the party with a solid 96% approval rating. It's like everyone got together and decided, hey, let's all agree on something for once. It is a rare moment of harmony in the chaos of TV opinions. IMDb has given Shogun a shiny 9.3 out of 10 rating, putting it up there with TV Elite. It's rubbing shoulders with the likes of Chernobyl, The Wire, and even The Last Airbender. I mean, that's some serious company to keep. Critics and viewers are singing praises louder than a karaoke night gone wild. They're calling it a masterpiece, a revelation, a unicorn in the world of TV shows. And you know you've hit the jackpot when your show is causing a big enough stir to make season two a hot topic before you've even finished season one. That's the case with Shogun. Shogun didn't just make a splash. It made a tsunami-sized wave in the streaming world, with record-breaking viewership on Hulu and Disney+. It's like the entire internet decided to collectively binge-watch feudal Japan drama. I mean, 9 million viewers in 6 days? That's just insane. While everyone's chanting season 2, season 2, there's a little hiccup called source material. Apparently Shogun follows the events of the 1975 novel and the creators have hinted that they've pretty much covered all the juicy bits in season 1. But where there's a will, there's a way. Michaelia Clavo, the executive producer and daughter of the novel's author, have hinted that the audience's appetite may just sway the decision. Of course, FX and Hulu are sitting on the edge of their seats weighing the risks and rewards of diving into Season 2. So, will Shogun get its much-anticipated Season 2? Only time will tell. But one thing is for sure, this show has shaken up the historical drama scene like a samurai showdown. So grab your fake samurai swords and your popcorn because the saga of Shogun might just be getting started. And wait, don't go without liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Done? Okay, now go. See you next time.